So, it appears they've um, they've made too many of these things. It's like the Porsche 911 all over again. They're bored, aren't they? Yes. They've been making the same car for 120, <laughs> 13 years, and all they think to do is, well, call that one a GT3, and that one a GT2, and I'll have a turbo, a GT2, I'll have a GT1, a 959, put the engine in the back. Collective Minds have released their 30th strike pack. This time they've called it the Horizon has some of the coolest features of any strike pack they've released uh, to date. But based on their product lineup, I'm kind of confused as to why they even bothered. You, you know, here we are still with four newer mappable paddles, voice controls via a mobile app, and uh, some mods. That'll inevitably end up ruining some Warzone lobbies if anyone still plays that shit. So hopefully they don't mind, but our friends over at uh, PCBWay, a regular channel sponsor, are sponsoring today's video. PCBWay is an experienced PCB manufacturer capable of assembly, prototyping, or even large-scale production, if that's what you're looking for. They offer a plethora of other related services as well, all of which are detailed on their website, linked in the description below, like CNC machine work, injection molding, 3D printing, which I actually plan on using soon, and production and shipping are pretty quick, so if you're working on a project or doing something like starting a small business, uh, be sure to check out PCBWay, again linked in the description. And another huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. You know, at one point I said I wouldn't have sponsors every video, but I never anticipated that I would, I, I would upload so infrequently. Just like the Universal Dominator and Eliminator, the Strike Pack Horizon Zero Dawn can be used for both Xbox One and Xbox Series X and X consoles with these little plastic adapters that they use. These go in the battery bay, you have some detachable USB port adapter bullshit thing going on, and it's a great idea that they added to their last Strike Packs. So let me map this out for you guys. You have the original Strike Packs for Xbox One and PS4, you have new strike packs for the Xbox Series X, then you have the new universal strike packs for Xbox Series X and Xbox One, and now we have another universal strike pack in the Horizon. What the fuck? All of the new features the Horizon has, obviously aside from the paddle design, are software based. So mods, the button remapping, the macros, the hair trigger dead zones. Realistically, all of this could have, and in my opinion, should have been something they added to the Universal Dominator and Eliminator they released a while ago. And instead of having a new device, you advertise those devices on the new features, which I still haven't really discussed. So I will get to those here in a second, but real quick, there are new features and uh, there's no manual to figure out how to use them. Well, there is but it's online. You know, the Victrix Pro BFG started doing a lot of stuff that I'm seeing from other companies now, and I don't really know if I blame them for it, but I'm definitely pissed at them the most for it. So with the Horizon, what exactly would you need a manual for? Well, there are four remappable buttons on the back that can manually be remapped via the buttons on the back, although it is a bit dicey, so most of the time you'll probably end up using the Strike Pack Central software, which is the mobile app used to customize the device. It's by far the most versatile aspect of the device. It unlocks a bunch of different features. There's auto calibration for the thumbsticks, which coincidentally, the Strike Pack also gives you the thumbsticks zero circularity error. Don't know why. You could also set custom dead zones and curves for your thumbsticks. There's a hair trigger mode. The ultra rare ability to remap multiple buttons to one paddle, which I constantly get asked about and used to get asked about a lot when I really started doing this tech stuff. And of course you have many, many mods. The Horizon allows you to use voice activation to swap between mods, which is very useful for swapping between mods on the fly. For cowards, you know, of course, which sounds very like futuristic until you realize the app, the Strike Pack Central app, has to be open because it uses your microphone on your phone. And it's mostly meant to work with Call of Duty and Apex Legends. Although you can change the names and the settings for all the mods, so really you can use them to ruin any game that you play, not just those two. Chimera. Rapid Fire. Cast Off 762. Being a pussy has never been more accessible. Aside from the mods, obviously, I'm a very big fan of the app, and again, I think it's something they should have added to the original Strike Packs, or the original Universal Strike Packs, that they made for Xbox Series X. Outside of the app, there's also this new paddle design that they went with for some fucking reason. These are better than what the Dominator had, but like eight times, they're still eight times worse than the Eliminator, I'm sorry. Old scuff controllers had a setup like this. I cannot stand paddles that are all the way in the back. There's no fucking reason for them to be all the way back there. Buttons were fine. 
I mean, your buttons weren't fine because they, they fucking fell off all the time, but buttons are more than okay. The middle two paddles aren't even really usable in my case. I mean, they, they're just, they, they're, they have like this little ridge, but they're still slippery because they're made out of plastic, and the, the one, the outer two are okay, I suppose. I'm an absolute god with the Eliminator. I'm subpar with the, the, these paddles. They're just, why? So performance, obviously with everything aside from the paddles, Performance with this, the strike pack feels perfectly fine. The sticks, even though they change the circularity supposedly, they don't really feel any different with or without the strike pack on. The paddles are obviously a help if you can use them. But I personally think the most interesting aspect of performance has to be the fact that the pulling rate does not stay consistent with the strike packs. There are stretches of time where it works fine and stretches of time where it has 11 millisecond response times. Cops in Detroit, Michigan, respond faster than that. The controller itself doesn't have this problem, but with the strike pack, it does. And really, I think that's about it. So I gotta give out some recommendations, or not. Believe it or not, me and Collective Minds actually agree on something, and that is that the strike packs do definitely need a refresh. Not like this, this is bullshit. The Eliminator buttons are perfect, the software the Horizon has is amazing, and the voice activated feature that they added is its pretty much a gimmick. It's a dumbass gimmick. They did send this out, and they actually they sent this out before it came out. So I don't want to be too mean, but it's just, I mean, I don't understand the direction for this. Also, I kind of feel like the main reason people wouldn't like stick by the strike packs or defend the strike packs or, or buy them again is because a lot of people had reliability problems with them. It's been a consistent hallmark of collective minds, the brutal honest truth. So at the end of the day, here's what I think. You get a 90 day warranty, which isn't acceptable, even for a device that's this simple. They must source their parts from America. These things last, I think tangerines last longer than these things. In my opinion, the strike packs up until now have really lacked features. They didn't really have, especially with the new strike packs that were coming out from like Big Big One and whatnot. And I'm not gonna harp on it again. The, the, this, this, this was botched and then should have just been added to the original strike packs. I don't hate the Horizon as much as it may seem like I do. I do think it, do, it has a lot of potential and I don't necessarily feel like it's a bad product. I just feel like it's, questionable why it exists. It doesn't really make much sense unless you're at Walmart and it happens to be the only Collective Minds product there that day. But it's here and if you want, you know, four paddles and if you don't mind adding some of those trigger uh, stop thingies, you can have short dead zones and trigger stops. Pretty good combo. I've used the strike packs in the past to create my own custom controllers, but Realistically, I would, um, for this price, at this price point, I would much rather go for a Gamester G7, a Gamester G7 SE. They don't have four rear buttons, but I mean, it's a whole controller. I do appreciate Collective Minds for sending this out. I really do, and I promise I'm not trying to hate any of your products. I don't know, we'll, we'll try again in a couple of months or next year or something. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy whatever Collective Minds product you're using, if it's this one, tough tits. And I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, sure to drop us a sub, like, stuff. And I shall see you in the next project. Peace.